Have you ever been at a loss for scrapbooking ideas? Well, inspiration can come from the strangest places. Look what I found. It's an accordion in a box. Ah, uh -uh, I have an idea! <laughs> Now here's my version of an accordion in a box. I have a box and inside there's an accordion. And it's an accordion book, embellished and quite fun. Now to start this project, you're going to need six six-inch squares. These papers are from the Graphic Products Corporation Romance Paper Craft Collection from this beautiful Florentine collection. This is going to be our book, so I'm going to start with one page with your pattern side down and fold it in half. Open up your paper and cupboard fold to the center. And the reason it's called a cupboard is when you fold it and you open it, it opens up like a cupboard. It's just an origami term. You're gonna cupboard fold to the center again. Now you have four equal sections. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. And I'll open it. You're gonna cupboard fold to the center again. And open it. What I have now is 16 equal sections. Just turn it over and fold up to the center crease, right in that center point there. Make sure you make nice creases. And if you want to use a bone folder, that's okay. You can use a bone folder. But I use my hands usually. Now you open up your paper. Make sure you turn it over and you can see there's mountains and valleys and you want your mountain to be up. Fold these little corners to the mountain crease. And at this point, you'll want to put a little glue on there just to anchor the corners. And I did that already. And I'll show you how you assemble this. It's really fun. You just take the points that are, are standing up. You want the, where the corners are, you want those to be down in, in a valley. So I'm just going to bring these corners to the center. And these are also going to be brought to the center. And if you watch how magical this is, it flattens down. And I have four corners. And it won't actually stay flat until I put the cardstock inside. And I found this gorgeous pink metallic cardstock that goes so great with this paper. And it's just nice and sturdy and beautiful. And I'm going to just slide it into the pockets. And voila, it stays down and flat. So what you want to do is make five more of these and then we'll assemble. Assembly is very easy on this. As you can see, there's some pockets inside here. And what I've done is I've taken some more metallic paper, which is, this is the autumn hay, and it's a very nice shimmery neutral color. And I fold them in half. And this is where you need your bone folder. Just fold it in half. And actually, it's a great, since it's going to be the hinge of this book, you're going to need to fold it back and forth a few times. And the beauty of this paper is that it doesn't crack. It's colored all the way through, and it, it's, it holds up very well. What you're going to do is take some double stick tape, which I have here, and peel off the tape on both sides. Now there's a pocket, and I'm going to slide this into the pocket and leave a little bit of a gap, and I can slide the other piece into the pocket. And now I've got two pages together. Okay, so you want to do this with all of your pages, six pages. You'll have five hinges, and then you'll have this wonderful accordion book. And you, you can embellish it any way you would like. I decided to keep with this botanical theme because the papers are so gorgeous. I stamped a flower onto some white watercolor paper and painted it with some watercolors. And I thought it, would, it needed to be a little bit softened, so I made a little vellum envelope and slid it in and stamped a little saying on top. did that with all six pages. And you can just take a little tape and put it on the back of your envelope and tuck it into little pockets and you can make a really beautiful little statement. And I found these gorgeous gold rubber tree leaves from Graphic Products Corporation. They come in lots of sizes, and I thought these were really pretty and delicate, and they're a little translucent because they are real, these are authentic, real leaves. So they just make a nice accent, and I put them on all pages. You can see the leaves just kind of tie in and make the whole book really elegant and beautiful. And I also took the flower stamp and stamped it on top and did a little cover on the back. So the book is done and now it's time to make the box. And for the box lid, you'll need two pieces of the Florentine paper and two pieces of this gorgeous 
iridescent sparkly paper from the Graphic Products Corporation, and it's great for folding. You'll make four units exactly the same. So I'll fold one unit. The next step, you fold a triangle up to this first crease. And the next one is to fold the whole section with this folded part in half diagonally. There'll be instructions and diagram for this project in the design guide. I'm going to fold this little triangle up to the long edge and unfold it. And now this long edge meets that crease that I just made. We're creating the, side, the, uh, the sides of the box this way. Now I take this long edge, bring it all the way to the top corner. And then once I've done that, I flatten it and open it up. And the part that is a little tricky, in, this is the part in the diagram that might be difficult to, to see, is you fold the top layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to crease it. And I'm going to stop right where this mountain crease is. You, you can see that. And then you just take this top layer and drop it down. And you can crease with your bone folder right here. And what you have is this corner. You see how the corner is, has a nice sharp edge. If you make four of these, you'll have four corners. And now I'll show you how to assemble it. You get all your pieces, which I have here. This is the fun part. This is the pocket and this is a tab, this long part. You just take your tab and slide it into the pocket. And you'll, you'll know it's right if, when it slides freely. You see it's, it slides freely, but you don't want to slide it all the way to the edge. Pull it out a little bit because you're going to be adding more pieces. And you take your other piece and slide it, and you just make sure it slides. And you take the other piece. That's what's great about these papers. They're flexible enough. They, they don't tear. They, they're a little pliable, which is great for this project. I'm going to go ahead and put this down on the table so you can see I need to slide these and get these little pieces in before I push it all together. And now it will all slide together nice, and we have a box top. It's really pretty, I think, by itself, but it's kind of nice to have a little more embellishment. To decorate it, I took some Mizuhiki cord from Yasutomo. It is made in Japan, and it's made out of finely twisted kozo paper, and it comes in so many beautiful colors. And this particular pink pearl matches these papers beautifully. So I made two little knots, very simple overhand knots. And what's great about it is you have pockets on top of your box. I was able to just slide them in and get, make a pretty little accent. And you can anchor that down with tape. Now to make the bottom, you'll need four sheets of paper, the same, two Florentine and two cotton candy. And we're going to fold the same method we did with the top, but it folds just a little bit different. You fold the paper in half and fold it in half this way and fold it in half this way. This is a lot simpler, so the, if you've mastered the top, it's not a problem doing the bottom. And then we want to fold a corner up to the center. And the last fold is this one. OK, now you remember you, you just take your bone folder and crease right up to that edge where you see there's already a crease. You don't want to go past it. There's also a crease here. You want to just drop this down and make you'll have a 3D edge when you do that. It's now a side of the bottom. And now I'm going to assemble it with all four pieces that I've folded. And it's really good to check your work, make sure all of your pieces are going in the same direction. Otherwise, the box won't go together. <laughs> so now to put it together, a little, it's a little different than the, the lid, but you will take your right sheet of paper and slide it into your left. Go from the right to the left. You'll want to get this whole piece inside and under the layers, and you want to make sure it slides freely. And you do this with the, all of the pieces. There's only four, so it's not too hard. But you want to make sure that this gets under there. It's going to be able to slide all the way to the edge. And make sure that, that you can do that. And you'll know it's right because it will slide together. And here we go. We'll see if it's right. Here it, is. it all goes together. I'm ready to put my book in the box. And I just wanted to show you that this ribbon doesn't go all the way through. It is just a couple of pieces that I attached with double stick tape. And then I'm going to fold the book up and tie off with a nice little bow, and I'm going to put it in the box. Here it goes. 
And here's the box top we made earlier. It fits right on top of the bottom and you notice that it's a little bit larger. Even though the papers are the same size, it fits perfectly. And now we have our accordion book in a box. Now let me show you some other things. There's so many things you can make with this fold and with the choices of paper, it's amazing what you can do. This box was made out of 12 inch sheets and so it's just stunning and it's really nice and heavy duty. And with the Mizuhiki accents, you can't go wrong. What a gift that would be. Now this, this box was made out of four inch paper, but you can make tinier boxes if you want. Now with this accordion book, I inserted photographs to make a mini album. And you can also make a photo cube with the same pages. And you would do that with a just slightly different assembly and that will be on your design guide. Today I showed you how to create a little outside the box. Well, actually inside the box. See you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.